Officials with a Japanese electric power company have applied for a government safety screening to restart a nuclear reactor. The facility in central Japan is in a region that experts say could be hit by a mega quake. A vice president of Chubu Electric Power Company filed the application with the Nuclear Regulation Authority. He wants inspectors to examine safety measures for the number four reactor at the Hamaoka plant in Shizuoka Prefecture. The utility halted operations at the government's request following the Fukushima nuclear accident nearly three years ago. Crews have been enhancing the disaster resistance of the site, including the construction of a 22-meter high seawall to protect the facility from tsunami. We will respond sincerely to any questions from authorities on safety measures. We will do our best to explain the safety of the plants. Power companies across Japan have submitted safety screening applications for 17 reactors at 10 plants. All 48 commercial reactors in the country are currently offline. Electric power company executives are getting ready to apply for a safety screening to restart a nuclear reactor in central Japan. It is one of the facilities that then Prime Minister Naoto Kan asked to be shut down two months after the Fukushima accident. NHK has learned that Chubu Electric Power Company is planning to file an application with the Nuclear Regulation Authority later this month. Operators are required to clear the government's safety guidelines before restarting reactors. The Hamaoka plant drew public attention in 2011 when Khan pointed out that the plant lies directly above the projected focus of a magnitude 8 earthquake that experts have long been warning about. So utility officials have been working to enhance the disaster resistance of the plant, including the construction of a 22-meter high seawall. That's three meters higher than the largest possible tsunami projected by a government panel of experts. The officials hope to restart the plant's number four reactor once these additional measures are in place. After the Fukushima accident, the utility increased its thermal power generation, but rising fuel costs have brought financial difficulties. Analysts say it remains unclear whether the reactor will operate again because the utility also needs to win the approval of local governments. All of Japan's 48 commercial reactors currently remain offline. Japanese nuclear regulators have spent more than a year inspecting a geologic fault under a nuclear plant in central Japan. They've concluded that it's not active. We have reached our decision after giving it the most thorough consideration. The Nuclear Regulation Authority issued a final report on this F6 fault under the Oi plant. They say the fault is unlikely to be affected by a nearby active fault. Government standards prohibit the construction of reactors and other key facilities above faults that have the potential to move. The OI plant is one of seven nuclear plants the regulators have been studying. Regulators concluded last May that a fault under the Tsuruga plant, also in central Japan, has the potential to move. Nuclear regulators have begun evaluating safety measures at a spent nuclear fuel reprocessing plant in northern Japan. The plant's operator, Japan Nuclear Fuel Limited, applied for the check earlier this month. Nuclear Regulation Authority or NRA officials will investigate whether the plant in Nokasho Village conforms to new stringent safety guidelines adopted in December. An official from Japan Nuclear Fuel says it has raised its estimate of the scale of earthquakes that could hit the plant. The company plans to install water pumps and spraying equipment to prevent hydrogen explosions. NRA Commissioner Toyoshi Fuketa says, unlike nuclear power plants, fuel reprocessing compounds house several types of facilities. He says they are all, he says they all require different safeguards. Fuketa says the NRA will study the facility's characteristics to assess just how prepared it is for a serious accident. The company officials see the Rokasho plant as playing a key role in the country's nuclear fuel recycling policy. They hope to pass the screening in October. But it is unknown how long the assessment will take. Work on the project has already been postponed 21 times.